Hey everyone, it's Yoslin and welcome back to my channel. Before today's video, I'm going to give my desk a makeover. I had to repaint my desk and scratch off all the old paint on it, and I also got new knobs for my drawers. So if you want to see how my desk turned out, then just keep on watching. So here is my desk's before, and as you can tell, this marbling is just super dirty. It's the one that you can just stick on, like I can peel it off right now. But it's like stained from coffee and tea and sharpie and a whole bunch of things like that so i'm going to be painting it all white and i'm also going to be changing off the knobs because i don't really like these little diamond knobs anymore so i'm gonna change those too probably didn't notice this but the thing that i'm always recording on is my desk and i'm so happy to finally be changing it because i no longer like the marble or the little diamond knobs so i think it's gonna make my room look a lot better i'm going to spray paint my chair which is also dirty because that's where the tag was the tag used to be right there and i peeled it off but it didn't come off completely so i'm going to spray paint my desk but first i'm going to take out all the drawers and empty them and then take the drawers outside so i can spray paint so i'm editing the video and i realized that the oh my gosh something's calling so i'm editing the video and i realized that my desk looks really gross and trust me it did look like that in person but the reason why it looks like that is because i've had this desk for probably five years and I used to do a lot of arts and crafts, and every time my desk would get a stain on it, I would try painting over it with white nail polish that didn't match the color at all. So that's why there's, like, Sharpie and nail polish all over my desk. So, that's why it looks like that. Okay, so I'm outside now, and sorry about the background noise, but there's construction around my house. But anyways, I'm going to sand it with the sandpaper so I can try to get the paint off of it. And I'm not going to sand it completely, I'm just going to get some of the paint off and then I'm going to spray paint it. I already painted these ones, as you can see, I just did one coat on them. I'm going to be painting these ones over here and these two that I have over here. I'm letting the other ones dry while I paint these. And then when those dry, I'm probably going to move on to my desk. Okay, so I painted this one, and it's still drying, so you can see the lines, but that's how it's looking. All these drawers are finally done, and I finished doing the chair, and that's the spray paint. My last spray paint broke, and I had to go back to the store and get a brand new one, because it was still full, but I was spraying it, and then it just stopped working, so I had to go back and get a new one. Here's the desk, and I really like how it looks. Um, my wall's white, so then that's white too, and it just looks really clean. And these are the new knobs I got for it, and everything's still empty, so I'm gonna put everything in my drawers and put everything that I usually have on the top of it, and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So here is how my desk looks, and I just have my lamp, a plant, and this little air freshener. And I already put everything inside the drawers. Inside of my drawers, I just put these vinyl liners. And I cleaned, well, my drawers were already cleaned out because I cleaned them out the other day. But I got the new knobs and then I used spray paint all over it. Here is the finished product. So that is how my desk turned out and I really like how it turned out. Um, I chose a matte finish just because I used to have a shiny finish on it and I didn't really like that. So I decided to do matte this time and I like it a lot, surprisingly. Clips you saw, I didn't sand my desk at all, but I did sand it. I just didn't record it because it was kind of difficult to record me sanding it. So I did sand it, I just didn't film me doing it. So to give my desk this makeover, it costed $20 and I think that's a pretty good price because it would have costed me a lot more if I just bought a new desk and I really like this one because it has a lot of storage in it so that's why I decided to just fix it up instead of buying a completely new one. But that is it for today's video. But that is it for today's video and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!